Today we're gonna build a uh, a wedding arch for somebody. Um, kind of put it off, but I'm gonna get that done today. Uh, first thing I want to do is build a jig for the ends, so we can get a a decorative end on the on the two outside pieces. So we got about a foot that we have to work with on the ends before we hit the meat of this thing. So the decorative piece has to be on this this end. Of course, I'm just making a jig now. Um, I'm going to draw me a straight line so I'll know that this is all I have to work with to make the decorative piece. So looking at the picture that my wife sent me, it looks like there's a little radius here, kind of like this. You're looking at a, a radius that goes about like that, and then I want another radius that meets that radius about in there like that. So let's see, we're gonna come in here. That looks pretty good. See kind of what, what it's going to look like. I may need to straighten this out a little bit here. I use some highly technical tools. This was a cap that goes on the bottom of a shop vac filter. This was a top that goes on a food plot cedar. So these are some highly technical woodworking tools, but. So that's the tool they use to draw my radius. Now we're going to use the jigsaw to cut this this form out. All right. That's what we're looking at right here, and that'll be the cross piece that goes across. Now we'll take our jig and draw it out on each board. All right, now we got to cut these forms out on, on the actual piece. So now we're going to take this edge off since we've got it plain and run it on the edge so I don't have to run it to the table saw and get that gray off that edge. Now I just want to take these this 80 grit sandpaper and sand this edge right here so it's not so sharp.
All right, so they want this thing to be eight feet tall. So we've got to count for the two by eight that we have over there. So it's going to be eight feet. This, this pole, which is the upright pole, is going to be eight feet and eight inches. So we've got to measure eight feet, eight inches from the end. And we're going to cut an end off of this end so we can get a straight edge. As I said before, my wife, my wife stained these already. Now we're gonna make the legs of this thing uh, four feet. So we got an eight foot high, we're gonna go half the length and do four feet on the legs. Now, at two feet, or in the center, we're going to make uh, a slot for this top to sit in, just so it just kind of give it a little more stability. Now, this slot is going to be the same width of our board, which is, on this one, I'm looking at two and a half inches. Two feet. I got these wood knives. I understand these are a little bit overkill, but this is what I use for timber framing. You can check out some of those videos if you go to the channel. Uh, but so we're gonna clean out this this slot that we've made. And again, you can use a screwdriver for this. You don't have to use these huge. Again, this is a little bit overkill. I mean, you don't have to do this part. So now we're going to put this thing on the end and screw it in. It's going to be. You know, if you cut it right, it's going to be pretty tight fit. And I got some 
And these are probably five or six inch screws to put in the bottom of it. I just want to make sure this thing is square when I secure it. Now we're going to let this thing down so we can do the other side. Now we're going to do the other side. Now we're gonna stand this thing back up. Huh? All right, you get that big. I get you big. Go slow because it should be. Not too scary. Then we're gonna walk up the leg. Just walk up the leg. Go. 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 Don't let it slam. Now we got one that needs to be stained again. Or sta needs to be stained.